I was born in northern Sweden in a small town, about 27, 30,000 people living there up on the east coast in northern Sweden. And I grew up in a typical Swedish middle class family. My parents both worked. My dad worked at sea and my mom worked um, in a clerical position for the government. My parents have a vacation place up a little bit further up north on the ocean and I would spend a lot of time there up in the summers. Swedish school is a lot like American school, especially first through 11th grade. You kind of take a little bit of everything. In fourth grade, you start studying English. So most people in Sweden speak pretty good English. American culture is pretty dominant in Swedish culture. Most of the TV programs, most of the movies are Americans. When you go to high school in Sweden, you actually decide on a major. I was a economics major and uh, my focus was business studying. I knew already in high school my dream job was to work for an American financial institution. I applied to a couple of different schools, one of them being Gustavus Adolphus College. I think I got a little bit lucky because with Gustavus, they like to have a certain amount of Swedes attend the school each year. And I didn't really know this. They were very helpful in getting my student visa and getting everything lined up. And uh, I got lucky I got a good student loan from the Swedish government. And uh, that's how I got myself over here. I had not heard of Minneapolis St. Paul. Um, I mean, I knew Minnesota was you know, a state. It has a strong Swedish heritage. There's a couple of classic Swedish novels that take place here in Minnesota, but it's really not the typical state you hear about. Late summers in Sweden are typically low 70s. A warm summer day in Sweden is maybe 80. And it was incredibly hot here. It must have been 90, 95 degrees and really, really humid. I got there about a week before the other students got there. So there was only a handful of students on campus. In my dorm, there were no one there that I could see and there was no air conditioning. I obviously didn't pack glasses or mugs or anything to drink water out of and I remember the first night it's hot, there's no way to drink any water, there's no drinking fountains, there's nothing. Even though I thought my English was pretty okay, it was a lot more difficult than I had expected and you realize pretty quickly that obviously no one's going to be talking like they do in a textbook or on a, on a tape in an English class. And there were no subtitles under to read either. People were very welcoming. Um, I have never really felt like an immigrant. I still don't really feel like an immigrant. It's obviously a huge advantage that if I'm walking down the street, you know, nine out of ten times I'm wearing a suit, I look like I'm from Minnesota, I really look like anyone else. When I start talking, you can tell I have an accent. Senior year, at Gustavus, I met my current wife. And when I graduated Gustavus, she worked in uh, Mankato for a bank, and I worked in uh, Minneapolis for a bank for one year. I knew that when that year was up, my visa was going to expire. So what we did was, before my visa expired, we actually moved back to Sweden, to Stockholm. We enjoyed life there, but I think we both knew that we wanted to locate back to Minnesota. My wife is from Sartell, so she wanted to get back closer to her parents, and I really wanted to live and work in the United States. I really knew this, this is where I want to live. Uh, I felt pretty American. Uh, I felt like I fit in really well. The line of business I was in worked really well here in the United States, and I could see myself living here for the rest of my life. I flew over here for a couple of weeks and interviewed with a couple of different banks. Uh, and I ended up being hired by one of them and in January 2007 we moved over here permanently. Life here in America has been really, really rewarding. Uh, I feel like I've gone from kind of coming over here with two suitcases, big amount of student loans to get an education, to now be in a position where my wife and I have a lot of ability to give back. I sit on the board of several different nonprofit institutions here and I like to be able to give other people the same opportunity that I have. I'm also really involved in the Swedish American Chamber of Commerce and I like to bridge the gap between Sweden and the United States. I travel back a lot to, the, to Sweden. Um, I still have all my relatives 
still live in Sweden. Even though it can be difficult to relocate here to the United States, begin a new life, I feel like for me it's been a great opportunity. I really feel like I've been given kind of the American dream.